Barcelona 0, Benfica 3, and yet another terrible performance from the Blaugranas. How many games are we gonna? am I going to say the same thing over and over again? The team is just horrible under Ronald Koeman. Once again, Barcelona dominated the possession and looked like an okay threat going forward in the beginning. And then what happens? We play horribly, we do something stupid, and then Benfica score. Benfica scored so early on today because of a stupid mistake from Eric Garcia. The way that he just let a player cut in and just score such an easy goal is just appalling like i mean eric garcia is a defender right he's a central defender he's not like a striker that's playing in the wrong position he's a defender and he defends that so bad he's about as good as in he's about as good as in defending as memphis Depay. because honestly, i honestly i can trust him more he probably has better reactions than eric garcia benfica looked dangerous throughout that first half and on the counter they were just so it was just so easy for them to score a goal, especially against Araujo and Eric Garcia. Araujo was so careless at times with Barcelona today, and honestly, he along with Eric Garcia was just awful. And the way that we lost possession so many times in our own half, it's honestly ridiculous. We lost possession so many times. And every time we had possession for two minutes and we were in a dangerous position, we would pass it straight back or give it to a Benfica player. How many times will Barcelona do the same thing? It's it's honestly horrible. And then what happens after that? Pique makes a stupid mistake and get a stupid mistake and gives it gives time for all the Benfica players to come forward. Pique made so many mistakes in that first half, and rightfully he was actually substituted. But the point is, PK was so careless, and a player that should be showing leadership, should be showing the experience, was showing none of that in that first half because he was absolutely awful, along with Araujo and Eric Garcia. In terms of Barcelona and Benfica overall, it was just such a sloppy game to watch and one of the most boring games in the Champions League. Like, on the other hand, we're seeing Villarreal play a beautiful brand of football with arguably much worse players in all parts of the field. And then we see a team like Juventus beat Chelsea. And then we see Manchester United beat Villarreal. We see all of these teams that we're compared to that in Villarreal's case are in our league actually play good football and compete. While we, on the other hand, are playing horrible football and losing humiliating scores to a team in the Portuguese league. And I mean no offense to the Portuguese league because I'm sure they're good. But we're Barcelona. And the Barcelona that I know, the Barcelona that have been that won the Champions League as near as six years ago should be doing much better than losing to this side. Now in terms of the second half, it was honestly even worse. It was a boring half with no real chances once again. Horrible start to the second half with Benfica having two chances to double their lead early on. The first one was obviously a very good chance for the Darwin Nunes. The second was another good chance for him with a brilliant, brilliant ball whipped in, almost going inside, except it hit the post. So two real letouts for Barcelona. And then after that, Memphis Depay, just time and time again, both in the first half and the second half, tried to create something all on his own, deep in that opposition half. But obviously, he's not Lionel Messi. He's a great player, but not Lionel Messi, so he can't do that. But the common theme we're seeing here is the midfield was non-existent, so obviously the attack has to do something on its own. And the fact that a midfield with Pedri and De Jong, both who have not played their last game and who have basically been out for a while, in De Jong's case, obviously he didn't play the last game because of his suspension, and in Pedri's case, I'm not sure why he started since the fa- since we had Gavi on the bench, but they both started. And with two players that are unfit, I don't know why you thought to put Luke De Jong up front. Like, the midfield, a fit midfield can maybe provide service for a player like Luke De Jong. But a player that's that requires so much service, and mostly aerial service, how can you expect an unfit midfield to provide you that? That, that completely baffled me and was honestly ridiculous. To add to this, there was just no creativity, no creativity and such slow ball movement. The way we blew, moved the ball was honestly ridiculous. Every time we would get it forward, pass it back, get it forward, pass it back. Same thing over and over and over again. And it's honestly something that annoys me so much since every time we get into a dangerous area and we pass it straight back. We saw this time and time again with Sergino Dest on that left side, who once again was not having a good match today. 
And time and time again, we saw the same thing. And it's honestly, after a certain point, we get fed up. Because the football is burning. Uh, boring. I wish it was burning. Football was boring. And the way we play football, even in those tiny, tiny moments, are so slow. And the way we played football overall today was so bad. So slow. And the fact that we're playing this bad football against Benfica worries me. Because when we get into better opposition like Bayern, which I'm absolutely terrified to play once again in December, if we play against them again and we play this kind of football, I wouldn't be surprised if there was another humiliation like that 8-2. Because the way we're playing football, how careless we are in defense, it's honestly worrying. The other aspect of this game was, of course, that Eric Garcia red card. Now, I was saying a few matches ago that the suspension to Kuman and De Jong was a little bit worrying since both the manager and the player having suspensions is shows the fact that they're not taking the rules seriously, but now think about it. Eric Garcia, another suspension. That means that's two, three red cards in three games. That's definitely something that's worrying for all Barcelona fans. Now, one red card is totally normal. We get red cards, it happens, and in the heat of the moment, it will happen at some point in, the, in your season. But really, three red cards for the manager, a defender, and a midfielder is definitely worrying. And Eric Garcia, to cap off a horrible performance he had once again with Barcelona today, got a horrible and stupid red card where he basically hugs the player from the back. Absolutely idiotic. And then, right before that, we saw Benfica go to a 2-0 lead. Another horrible, horrible mistake from Barcelona defensively. Ter Stegen makes an okay save, and then their their goal scorer, I'm not sure his name, the Benfica goal scorer, scores an easy, easy tap-in. Once again, absolutely horrible from Barcelona. And then we go 3-0 down from the penalty because of Des stupid yellow card he gets for a handball, which I don't understand the handball rule. It's honestly really bad. But knowing the rules, the fact that Barcelona players know the rules, it was really stupid for Des to do that. And he gets a yellow card, and obviously Barcelona get have to get a penalty against them. So to really cap off a horrible performance, a penalty, two two really really bad goals conceded by Barcelona, it was another disgraceful performance. And I'm seriously asking myself, maybe Barcelona will go out of the Champions League, and maybe this is the end of Barcelona this year in the UCL.